In the previous video, we saw how Mr. Jones, with the assistance of his nephew, successfully activated the Archimish Adon. Now, he is eager to create his first kitchen cabinet. Despite Sweet Home 3D's extensive capabilities for home design and its vast array of furniture options, Mr. Jones felt that its kitchen furniture fell short in fully realizing the potential of his kitchen cabinet designs. To begin, you'll need to delete the default cube that Blender creates in a new scene. Select the cube by clicking on it, then press the delete key. To insert kitchen cabinets, first select the layout workspace. Press then key to open the slide bar. Then, choose the create tab and expand the Archimesh panel. Click on the cabinets button and then expand the cabinets panel located in the lower left part of the viewport. To focus on the selected object, press the Del key on the numeric keypad. Then, use the zoom handler, represented by the magnifying glass icon, to zoom in by dragging the mouse. You can also rotate the view by dragging the orbit handler, represented by the curved arrows icon. To move the viewport, use the pan handler, represented by the hand icon, by dragging the mouse. When creating cabinets using the Archimish add-on in Blender, you can customize several basic properties to suit your design needs. For type, choose between floor or wall cabinets based on your layout requirements. Adjust the thickness of cabinet walls for structural integrity. Determine how deep the cabinet will be to optimize space usage, and set the overall cabinet height to fit specific preferences or space constraints. Select from 8 handle models or opt for known to suit aesthetic preferences, and fine-tune handle positions horizontally and vertically on cabinet doors. If you select the countertop checkbox, it will add a countertop automatically only if the height of the cabinet matches the default height. You can customize the height and extent of the countertop for more workspace, accommodating client preferences like taller counters for comfort. Choose the baseboard checkbox to automatically create a baseboard, which ensures cabinets sit properly on any type of flooring. Adjust its height and sink depth as needed. Use the Floor Origin checkbox to align cabinet bases precisely with floor levels, maintaining uniformity and stability. This is essential for floor cabinets and kitchens with varying floor heights. By leveraging these properties and making thoughtful adjustments, you can create tailored cabinets that not only meet design specifications but also enhance functionality and aesthetics based on client requirements. The number of cabinets field in Archimesh allows you to specify how many instances of the cabinet design you want to create in your scene. For this tutorial, we will create two cabinets to demonstrate its functionality easily. For each cabinet, their properties appear in the cabinets panel in separate sections labeled as Cabinet 1, Cabinet 2, and so on. Let's go through each property and understand its functionality. Adjust the cabinet width to fit your design needs, usually 0.60 meters as the default value. In some cases, the width is 0.9 meters, typically under the sink. You can change the depth of the cabinet by adjusting the depth property. When the default value is 0.59 meters, this value will be added to 0.59 meters. Alter the cabinet height to suit specific design requirements. By changing the height value, it will be added to the default height of floor cabinets. When you do this, the countertop will no longer be visible. This can be used in cases where you want a column with the oven to start from the floor and reach the highest point of the kitchen. The rotation property allows you to rotate the cabinet relative to its default position. Options include default. 90 degrees clockwise, 90 degrees counterclockwise, and 180 degrees. 
Shift the cabinet along the x-axis within a range of minus 10 to 10 meters. Move the cabinet along the y-axis, also within a range of minus 10 to 10 meters. Adjust the cabinet's position along the z-axis within the same range. Choose from various door configurations such as single, glass, drawers, double, double glass, corner, or none. Specify the total number of shelves within the cabinet, ranging from 0 to 10. If you choose drawers, you can determine the number of drawers, with options from 1 to 10. If you choose glass, you can adjust the glass ratio for doors that include glass. The handle checkbox indicates whether a handle should appear on the cabinet door. Enable or disable it based on your design preference. Left baseboard and right baseboard checkboxes allow you to add baseboards to the left and right sides of the cabinet, enhancing its visual appeal and stability. The countertop full checkbox, when selected, fills any empty spaces with a countertop, ensuring a seamless appearance. The countertop and checkbox adds an edge to the countertop for a finished and polished look. But Archimesh comes with a drawback. If you click anywhere in the viewport, the cabinet properties disappear, and you lose the opportunity to add more cabinets from the panel. In the next lessons, we will show techniques to overcome this limitation. Sometimes, this drawback can actually be beneficial. If you select the cabinets button again in the Archimesh panel, the add-on creates the same cabinets in the same position. By changing the type to wall, you can place cabinets on the wall with the same settings as those on the floor, ensuring consistency in your design. But the amazing thing is that the cabinets are not static. You can interact with the cabinet doors and drawers for more dynamic visualizations. To open a cabinet door, select it, activate the rotate tool from the left side of the viewport, and drag on the blue circle. To close the door, select the item tab in the slide bar and set the Z rotation to zero in the transform panel. For drawers, select the drawer, activate the Move tool from the left side of the viewport, and drag the green arrow to open it. To close the drawer, select the Item tab in the slide bar and set the Y location to minus 0.59 cm in the Transform panel. In the next videos, we'll dive deeper into creating full kitchen designs. We'll explore how to arrange cabinets, integrate appliances, and add finishing touches to bring your dream kitchen to life in Blender. So, stay tuned for exciting upcoming lessons. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more Blender tutorials. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new upload.